Using this code widget I'm gonna show you in this video, you will be able to increase your Shopify store speed by 15 to 20% or even more depending on your circumstances. Best of all, the code widget can be installed in less than a minute by anyone who can work with an internet browser and can copy and paste code in place. We all know that store speed is a very important factor if you want to be successful with e-commerce. And Shopify stores tend to become slower in time. Only by adding some apps, your initial 60 to 80% will drop to 40 and depending on the level of customization or the methods used, that can go to 20 or 10 and even lower. While loading up the store from your laptop using a fast wireless connection can make a broken store look good, the situation is completely different when using a slower, maybe a 3G mobile connection on an older mobile device. Even if we don't like it, most people shopping online use older mobile devices and don't have always the fastest internet connection. By focusing only on the customers who have the perfect internet connection and the best device, we reduce the number of potential customers greatly. Whenever Google shows a site speed of 20% or lower, that's an indicator of the fact that many of your customers will struggle to view your store, and even worse, they might not be able to load it at all in some situations. That of course will result in lost customers that will buy from your competition. To properly preview your customer's experience, you should open up your store while not on your Wi-Fi. Maybe outside where your phone's internet connection is not the best. In many cases, this is how your customers will browse your store, maybe on a bus or on a subway. Studies say that the average adult's attention span is around 8 seconds. Imagine that a store that requires 10 seconds or more to fully load will have no chance in most of the cases. Many customers will leave the site after 3 or 4 seconds if the layout will not load, and many will postpone looking at your product never to return to your page again. It's hard enough to grab the attention of someone and you will pay considerable amounts of money on doing that just to lose them on the site speed. So what is the solution? Optimize your store speed. Easier said than done. Optimizing a Shopify store can be a maze, not to say that this is a long-term process. Anything that you do when using your store can impact your store's speed score. Adding images and videos, installing apps, and so on. In theory, a Shopify store needs to load up all its essential assets first, the layout, images, styling files, fonts, and everything else that makes it look as it does, and with a greater emphasis on the content that is over the fold. After all of that is loaded, we can start downloading apps and their assets. Many of the apps you are using are not needed in the first paint. Rather, they should be added after the user starts to interact with the store, aka click, scroll, or any input a user may have. The snippet of code that I'm gonna show you does exactly that. It modifies the Shopify async function that is responsible for injecting all the app scripts in the head of the team. This modification stops the scripts from loading at the same time as the theme and instead marks them and then downloads them only after the user has successfully downloaded and started using the page. This way the user sees the page faster and will not get the chance to get impatient and bounce. Here's my example store. I'm sure that you like Gorgeous as well. I've installed just some of the usual apps, stamp reviews, smile for loyalty programs, rebuy for upsells and sidecart, instafeed, and some others. I'm sure that you are familiar with all of these and that you are probably using them yourself. The impact they had is around 20% from the initial site speed. We will attempt to regain that initial speed by adding this code widget. It works differently on different scenarios, it might be different for you, but for this rather basic store, the initial speed will be restored. Before making any modifications, let's run some tests. You can make a copy of your live theme and run the preview link in the Google test. Note that the preview link will be a bit slower than the live link, but you will be able to see the difference either way. Choose a page you want to take as a reference, usually the home page, product page or collection page. Then run the test three times on the same page. After getting your first result, add it to a txt file or a note. Then run the test again, but allow some time between the tests, otherwise you will get the same result. After running the test three times, add those results and see what is your average speed. With that result in mind, we can go and implement the code. You can paste the code snippet as it is under the content for header tag on your theme.liquid file. If you'd like, you can create a snippet and include it in the same spot. 
then comment out your original content for header tag and save. Allow a minute before testing the site speed again. After waiting a bit, run the test again 3 times and see what is your average speed now. And that's it, if you follow the guide correctly you should now have a faster store. Of course, if you want an even better result depending on your specific situation and setup, there are many other adjustments to be made. If you are looking for help, make sure to check out our website shopioso.com. For the code snippet, you will find the link in the description. If you like this video and you want to see more on the topic, please like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.